All right, Ben, uh, firstly, just how much are you guys looking forward to being back home after a couple of weeks on the road? Yeah, no, I've, I've missed it, definitely. Um, again, it's quite weird to say that we're going to be playing, what is it, two in a row the next two weeks at home. So, yeah, it's, it's an amazing feeling that the support that we have from the home fans is always special, so I'm looking forward to it. It's obviously become a bit of a happy hunting ground, Sky Stadium as, as well for you, uh, scoring goals. Yeah, I mean, the, the first two games, it was a... Uh, I didn't, I, don't, I didn't expect to score two in a row, but it's been a dream for a, for a long time, ever since I came to, came to watch people like you know, Greeny and Paul Eiffel play at the stadium, um, and I'm, I'm glad it came true. Just shame about the results, but I think we're, we're very close. Yeah, you feel that three points, that elusive first one's not far away? Yeah, and I think once we get it, we'll, we'll run with it, and I don't think we'll you know, struggle to maintain that form. It's just, it's just getting over that line, that, that last little bit, and I think, I think it's close. Um, obviously that's comeback result, the draw against Melbourne City on Sunday, the bench had a big impact. The depth within the squad and that, or that competition, how are, you, how are you finding all that? Yeah, no, it's really good and I think it's been a key message from, from the staff that the subs are extremely important. I mean, the first game when I came on and I was a sub, I made an impact and the boys that came on in the weekend, like BK, Oscar and Costa, and Costa scoring as well, it's fantastic and I think that comeback should give us a, a lot of confidence as a team and it should give the, the fans a lot of confidence as well that there's a strong character within the, uh, within the squad. Yeah, do you think that's a big difference this season that, you know, when the coach goes to the bench, you can see a lot of experienced players or players and actually bring on something, score goals? Yeah, and at the end of the day, it's like we get told not everyone can play and that, that's the reality, but if you're on the bench and you've got a massive role and like you, like you guys saw the last 35 or 30 minutes, the game kind of flipped on its head and that was thanks to the impact that we had from our bench. Looking forward to playing MacArthur again after they knocked you out of the cup a couple of months ago. Yeah, uh, that was a that was a tough pill to swallow, especially seeing them go on and and win the cup. Um, quite frustrating, but no, we're looking forward to a good competition uh, with them, and, and hopefully we get the desired result. And it's our charity round game as well, uh, a Gumbo Friday, and I am hope how important the cause is, is that <coughs> I suppose um, as as football is raising awareness for. Mental health. Yeah, mental health is a massive thing, and I think for me personally, I didn't realise the, the the impact that it has on professional professional players, and it, it is big. And I'm all I can say is and do is encourage people to donate and put money towards the cause because it's a it's a really big one. And looking forward to playing and unveiling a, a new strip as well this weekend. Yeah, I mean I haven't seen it yet, but I mean I'm looking forward to it, and hopefully people get behind it and buy it as well.